Now back to Sedano FC head coach Paulo Nagamura. Uh, Paulo, thank you for taking a couple minutes here. Um, obviously, a difficult result for, for the team tonight. Um, and I'll leave the, most of the questions up to everybody else, but just as usual, if you can, just kind of give us your thoughts on uh, the overall play of the team over the course of the whole 90 minutes. Uh, it's difficult to say, but I have to. Uh, to praise our guys, uh, I think you had a very good first half, minimizing Vancouver, having fully controlled the game in the first half. Second half, I think we dropped off too much, what led Vancouver to push us back. But even, even, even though I think we have the best chances of the game on counters in transition, um, and uh, last five minutes just uh, it was just lack of attention, lack of. Uh, resiliency that if it's the other word to 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 keep the zero but again uh, I think uh, I think it was a good response from the guys uh, after the Philadelphia game and and it's good we're all good at because we, we we believe that we deserve much more than we got today all right guys if y'all have questions for Paul please click the raise your hand button and I'll get you in um, while I'm waiting on those, Paul, you mentioned there the, the response to the Vancouver game, or to the, excuse me, uh, to the, the Philadelphia game. Um, how proud were you of, of the way the team responded, came out uh, early on, uh, bouncing back from the result of it? Yeah, no, that, that was definitely, definitely a positive uh, with that. I think, uh, again, we had a very good first half playing, uh, playing through them, even in the second half, uh, having uh, most of the time, control of the game. They had a few, few half a chance. If it's half a crosses from, from our giveaways or from from transition moments, where we knew it was going to happen. Um, so uh, I think it's uh, that's what's the most disappointing. I think we did enough. Uh, we did enough again um, coming after this game to get out three, and we didn't. So it's I'm sure the guys were, were disappointed in the locker room. We are disappointed. The fans are disappointed. Um, and uh, we just got to go back to work, and, and that's the only way that I know, and is go back to work and work on the things that we need to get better. Okay, uh, see if your questions come in. And again, guys, we'll start with questions in English, and we'll do questions in Spanish after. We'll start with Alex Parra. Go ahead, Alex. Coach, good evening. Can you hear me, sir? Yes. Thank you for your time. Thank you for meeting with us. Um, as we asked Sam a few minutes ago, it was a tale of two cities first half. You had moments of not only possession, but great possession, controlling the rhythm, controlling the game. I know it's early and it just happened, but what changed? Was it physical conditioning? Was it a myriad of things? Sam alluded to the mentality of leading versus tying or being down in the, in the, uh, in the score. So can you add a little bit to that? What do you think made the difference between one half and the second half, Coach? I, I I think uh, I think what it changed we we you try we start to drop off and just uh, defend lower on the field I think that's gave a little bit more momentum for for Vancouver but to be honest even with that I I think we still had the best chances uh, not the best chances but we had good chances in the second half to 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 close that game out um, good plays. Um, uh, and I felt it's a difficult. It's difficult because, uh, again, it was. You could say there was a tail two halves, but I still think that what we did in the second half was was good enough to to minimize uh, uh, clear chances for Vancouver. We knew that they're gonna uh, be very aggressive with the wing backs and cross a lot of balls and and be good in transition. Uh, so. Uh, I think what the, the biggest difference is that we defend her uh, too lower on the field, and that allows Vancouver to push us a little bit back. So, <clears throat> Coach, I, I know we don't single out players per se, but we, we could see some of your reactions to great opportunities from several players up front that you have to take advantage of those opportunities, especially when you're on the road. And a 2 0 would have made all the difference for the team. So. Um, obviously, I guess the question is, we, we've got to take advantage of those opportunities. It wasn't happening, and I'm sure that's frustrating. Yeah, no, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because, like you said, we 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 did enough. We did enough to be honest uh, to win that game, and 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 have to be a little bit more uh, uh, to be to be not not to be effective on a final third is frustrating because I think we we create enough we can have, we create enough to to score the second and. 
and uh, it's gotta be it's gotta be in the start of our season where we we were not we're not effective and not um, uh, we're not deadly in the final third and 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 half a play off play or whatever you call that play and they and they get a go and they get the second and they gain momentum and we lose the game so it's frustrating but we never single guys out I think we we, we I said like yesterday uh, say I said that last week I'm sorry. We win together, we lose together, and then and and we learn from it. Coach, thank you, sir. Thank you for meeting us. I know it's a frustrating night. I appreciate your your, your time. Thank, thank you, you, Alex. All right, we'll go next over to Sam Abono. Uh, go ahead, Sam. Uh, hello, Apollo. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm at the baseball game, and this is my time to be um, dynamo manager. Um, after the game against Philadelphia, you apologize to the fans. You know, like the fans, you know, stuff like that that happened again. You know, that's the line for whether it's been drawn three points. You know, what do you have for the fans tonight? Look at how the game has ended. I can't hear him. <laughs> hey, Sam, let me, Sam, I'm going to mute you. Uh, can you hear me? I can't hear, it's breaking out. Can you, can you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah now I can. Can you hear me now? It was better before. Okay, okay. Can you hear better now? Yes. Sam, let me, let me just paraphrase for you, because you're cutting in now. Paul, I think what, what Sam was asking was, um, you know, what would your message to the fans be after tonight? So the message to France is, is, uh, is simple. Uh, we will not give up on on the season. We work tireless to, to be better every day. It's frustrating that we're not getting the results that we wanted. Uh, uh, but they, they, they are loyal fans, and we're going to turn this around for them. That's, that, that's, my, that's my message. And thank you for that. Uh, Sam, I apologize. Your phone's cutting out almost pretty bad. Uh, I'm going to move on to Victor Ariza. Go ahead, please. Hey, Paul, obviously a tough result. Um, you're not the first coach to, to struggle here at the Houston Dynamo. Um, lack of quality, lack of you know, tired legs, obviously the schedule. Um, do you feel you have the roster here to, to compete? Do you, do you feel you've been backed by the club adequately to, to have a roster that can compete with the better teams in the Western Conference? Um. To compete with the top teams in our conference? No, I don't think so. I think we we need to we need to be honest and 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 and, and be clear about it, transparent. I think we have a, a competitive group, a, a group that can make the playoffs. Yes, but in order to be in the top of the league, I think uh, we still we're still gonna take a few transfer windows to to be better. Uh, and I think I'm sure that Asher and Patty are working on it. Um, but it's, uh, it's now, uh, we say from the beginning, is, this is a process, and the, the more that the fans want to get results, the, us, the players, the coaching staff, the ownership, we got to be realistic with, with ourselves uh, and, and be transparent that we, it's going to take, take a few transfer windows for us to be where we want to be. And obviously, if, um, you know, if importing talent isn't necessarily there, um, one of the points highlighted in these last two games with Philadelphia tonight with Vancouver, um, their youth players. Um, what, what do you assess the situation here? Um, and maybe having that lack of support from the academy system. Sorry, could you repeat your question, Victor? Sorry, I didn't understand. Yeah, just your your use of uh, of younger players. Do you feel you have uh, the younger players waiting in the wings? The support of the academy uh, system essentially to be able to. Um, push some of those guys up and get some results. In yeah, Victor. Yeah, this is yeah, this is a it's a great question, and I told you from from the beginning. We will, I think I have a good experience with with uh, players coming through academy, second team, first team now, uh, and I'm gonna say the same thing that I said a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago. We 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 assess. We will assess players on daily basis and make sure they are ready to re contribute. While they are not ready, they will not contribute. So uh, I think the process is being uh, is being in place. We're pushing the young players to be future MLS stars, and when when 
when we believe that they're going to be ready, they will play. Thank you, Victor. Okay, uh, Sam, I apologize. I'm not going to come back to you just because your phone's been cutting out uh, so bad. We're going to go ahead and switch over to questions in Spanish. Uh, so if you guys have questions in Spanish, go ahead and raise your hand. Um, Alex, I see you, so we'll go come back over to you. Profe, eh, espero que me escuche. Gracias sí. otra vez por estar con nosotros. Platíquenos un poco sobre el ánimo del equipo tras estos últimos dos partidos. Ha sido, me imagino, una semana pesada. Psicológicamente, ¿cómo, cómo mantiene este barco andando hacia adelante? Eh, eh, creo que es un aspecto muy importante, el aspecto psicológico de los ánimos de sus jugadores, Profe. Sí, mira, no hay... <risa> Es, es, un, es un resultado difícil para nosotros por el juego que jugamos, por el partido que, que, que tuvimos, con el rendimiento que tuvimos, pero no hay tiempo para lamentar eso. Es, 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 hay un juego en la próxima semana, tenemos que levantar la cabeza, uh, reconocer, reconocer que, no, que no fuimos bien uh, el último minuto del partido o por algún momento de segundo, de segundo tiempo. Uh, y, y levantar la cabeza y a trabajar porque uh, todavía hay 10 juegos uh, y, 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 y dependemos no más de nosotros. Profe, y me quiero robar la, la pregunta de Víctor que nos hizo y creo que usted nos contestó muy honestamente. La pregunta fue que si tiene usted los jugadores para competir ante los mejores equipos en la MLS o en la Conferencia del Oeste. Y si nos puede repetir esa respuesta que creo que es muy honesta y correcta. Claro, no, mira, es, eh, yo creo que tenemos que ser muy transparentes eh, con los fanáticos principalmente. Los que están ahí para, 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 para darnos fuerza. Es que la verdad no tenemos el grupo para, para estar ahí en, en los dos, tres primeros de, de la liga. No tenemos. Tenemos un grupo competitivo. Uh, que sí puede llegar en playoffs, para un, pero un equipo para disputar uh, campeonatos y títulos todavía no. Eh, eso es muy claro. Yo creo que va a, le, va, le va a tomar dos, tres ventanas. Uh, yo creo que Perry y Asher están trabajando muy duro en eso. Pero la verdad es que con, con, con los grupos que tenemos ahora, eh, la, la realidad es que no, no, no somos un equipo de, de, de punta todavía. Y eso requiere tiempo, requiere eh, reclutamiento de mejores jugadores y, y, y el primer paso en términos de cultura, de identidad, yo creo que el equipo ya tiene. Ahora es eh, adicionar calidad y adicionar eh, jugadores que pueden llevar nosotros ahí. Profe, perfecto, muchísimas gracias. Eh, buen viaje de regreso y, y que tenga buenas noches. Gracias, Alex. All right, I don't see any Thank you. Recording in progress. All right, guys. Uh, as I mentioned a second ago, we're joined now by Houston Dynamo defender Sam Junkett. Sam, thanks for taking a couple minutes with us. Um, obviously, a difficult result for you guys, uh, but, uh, and I'll let everybody else ask you know, more specific questions. But just start off, if you would kind of give us your overall thoughts on the game, and just you know, uh, how, y'all, how you felt the team played over the course of the whole 90 minutes. Um, we came in here with a plan with how we were going to play. I thought we did that very well first half, and we were creating a lot of opportunities. Um, for most of the second half, I felt the same way. Um, and that's what makes it very disappointing that we didn't play a complete 90 minutes. And at the very end, uh, we let it slip. Um, but, you know, I think that the way that we we played for the majority of the game is how we need to we need to keep going and the way we need to play. Okay. Thanks for that. And uh, guys, if you have questions for Sam, click the raise your hand button, I'll get you in. Uh, we'll start off with Alex Parra. Uh, go ahead, Alex. Thank you, Zach. Good evening, Sam. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Great, sir. You, you mentioned the, the change, at least from my perspective, agreeing with you, first half to second half, you had some moments of great possession. I mean, we counted 20 passes plus with with very little um, uh, interference from, from Vancouver. What, what happened in the second half? Was it their change? And, and, and obviously their subs made a difference from my perspective. Did, were we, Houston, tired? Or what, what, what can you pinpoint at this point, Sam, uh, objectively about what changed from first half to second half, sir? I think that naturally, you know, you can end up playing differently when you're winning versus when you're tied versus when you're losing. And 
you know, I think in my opinion, uh, just from what I remember from the game, I think that we weren't as focused on creating opportunities and attacking in the same way that we did in the first half. In the second half, we were more worried about maintaining the lead and, uh, you know, keeping it at 1-0. It didn't feel like at times we were trying to get that second one. And I think that that was a part of uh, how we let them back into the game. And, and Sam, as a follow-up, thank you for that. To me, and, and, and I've watched it several times, that was your goal. Have you and Fafad discussed that? And, and congratulations officially for the assist. But uh, I know you weren't intending to shoot, just serve the ball in there. It went in, that's what counts. But did you see it differently than the official score? I thought I scored. I haven't talked to Fafo about it, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about that later. You can settle it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your time, and, and, and uh, thank you for your, for your, uh, for your answers. Mm -hmm. No problem. I will go over to Sam Mbonu uh, from Africa Sports Network. Go ahead, Sam. Uh, hello, um, hello, Zach. Good evening. Hello, Sam. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Um, I think we were pleased with how the first half had gone. Uh, we were doing a lot of what we spoke about what we wanted to do going into the game, and we executed. And we were saying, we need to keep doing that. And we have another 45 minutes of play. We can't let our foot off the pedal. That was the conversation. Now, after the second 45 minutes that the team dropped this game, how can you describe the situation in uh, Deflated, disappointed. Uh, we felt like we deserved more. Um, and we also feel like we could have done better. Um, <clears throat> You know, however fortunate the bounce may have been for them, we think that it could have been avoidable. All right, we'll go over to right, Victor. Thank you. Right. Sorry, Sam. Uh, we'll go over to Victor Riser, the <coughs> striker next. Go ahead, Victor. Hey, Sam. The first 90 minutes for you and since May, just wondering, um, what was it like for you to finally get significant playing time again? It's fantastic. You know, I've been waiting to to play again and kind of staying ready. And so it's uh, very rewarding to, to be able to play a full 90. Um, obviously, the icing on the cake would have been the win. Um, but nonetheless, I'm always happy when I play. Well, what do you think some factors that have led to, to you not getting as, as much regular time lately? And, and, um, maybe what was the thought process coming into this, this week and um, I mean, I, th I don't think that uh, necessarily comes to me. I think it's, you know, the coach decides the team, and the only thing I can do is show what I have in the opportunities I have and also in training. And just, you know, there's, there's been talk about early in the year about the differences, the different atmosphere, right, around the club. Um, obviously, the club went through a, a tough situation last year. Just like it is going now. Um, what are some of the things that you think are just contributing to this uh, once again? Shoot, if I had the answers, I'd change it. Um, you know, I think it's it's very complicated. It's something that, you know, this is my fourth year, and I think we've we've had a hard time shaking it the whole time, even though there's been quite a bit of change. And so... Uh, you know, it's not it's not a simple fix. It's not something that I can I can really pinpoint. I don't think. Last one. Obviously, you guys have had you know these kinds of seasons before. Um, positives around the club right now. Just feeling in the locker room of, of what can be done to try to get the best out of this season. Yeah, I mean, you know, we obviously pay attention to the standings and you know where we are on the table because we want to make playoffs. But at the same time, I think bigger picture, we have to look at uh, beyond the results, how we're playing and take the positives so that we can move it on to the next game. 
And I think that there were a lot of positives from, from this game, and we want to bring those into the next game, but we want to just uh, play a little bit more of a complete game and, and fix those things that are holding us back. Um, but we feel like uh, we have some good pieces in place, um, and it's just a small bit that uh, still needs to be fixed. Thanks, Sam. No problem. All right, I don't see any additional questions, so we'll wrap up with that. Sam, thanks for taking a couple minutes. Get some rest. Have a safe trip back to you soon. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Hey, guys, uh, slight change of